Pisces fam. What it do is your girl Empress 777 here today with a general love message for my Pisces soul family. Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs is general holy angels and spirit guys. Give me clear concise messages for my Pisces gang gang gang. May or may not resonate guys. Can't be for every Pisces. Just take what resonates and leave the rest right. Uh, keep an open mind. Tarot is fluid. Also cross watchers you can place yourself where you belong if you need to switch the roles feel free to do so um let me tell you i didn't really get very much anything out of the energy in this meditation not from your end anyway uh, there's still someone who's very much so pressed you're not pressed you're not worried you're not they're not in your thoughts it's not a thing it's not a thought for you um <laughs> that poses as an issue and the issue probably stems from the fact that you made this person such a importance in your life that they can't fathom the thought of not being relevant right to you um that that just they can't they can't wrap their brain around that okay i kept hearing what's going on <laughs> what's going on i feel like maybe they felt like you would turn back around like they felt like you would beg them oh my god what what i'm starting to get angry i just heard that beg them are they stupid you like girl what you think <laughs> you don't hear this stupid ass shit coming out your mouth oh my god <laughs> so it hurt your behavior is shocking to them I don't know what that behavior is, calling them out, putting them in their place, not saying shit at all, okay? Letting them walk off, letting them throw a tantrum and not give it a fuck. <laughs> you like, you mad? I don't care, write it down, take a picture, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> That's what I heard, oh my God. <laughs> Woo, wings of light. Come on, come on, Piscean energy. Becoming something new. And your energy is very much so new. It's light and airy. It's almost as if you drop the burdens of the past. You don't really care. Um, you can't find one fuck to give. You know, some of you have gone through a spiritual awakening. Some of you have gone through some form of enlightenment. Okay. You've become extremely clear about what things have been. Ooh, divine feminine. Hello. Did this come out for you before? I feel like it did. The energy that's screaming to me right now is like a silent power. <laughs> Silence is power. That's what I just heard. Oh my gosh. Feminine energy, gender doesn't matter, is definitely poised. Okay? It doesn't move. The shit don't move. Because what you want is going to come to you anyway. You just have it like that, right? Um, you and Law of Attraction are here. Y'all here. <laughs> um, and you know that. So you're moving much differently now. And it's confusing the shit out of this person, either the way that you're talking to them, the fact that you're not talking to them at all. Your behavior is confusing them. OK, um, this state of confusion is the ultimate discomfort for this person because they felt like they always had you figured out. And now you're changing shit. Why are you changing things? That's why they're like, what's going on? <laughs> Come get me. <laughs> Wow. Call me. Chase me. Come after me. It's like, are you? You lost your mind, didn't you? you? You lost it. You trying to send me on a scavenger hunt to help you find your fucking brain. We're not doing it. Mm -mm, we're not. See, sunglasses. This is someone who is very much so blinded by delusion. They're blinded by delusion. That's what they just said. Yeah, they don't have any sense of reality, guys. It says watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. That's exactly what they're doing. They are focusing out. They want to ask you what's going on. Why have you changed? Why are you changing shit up? Why are you not acting different? Why are you treating them differently, right? Why are you not letting them have their way? Why aren't you accepting their bullshit? <laughs> wow. Passion. So this is someone who is reeling with emotions, guys, okay? That goes without saying. But I feel like their passion towards you has only grown. It's growing by the minute, actually. There wasn't an insane chemistry in this connection for sure. A magnetic attraction. But the only thing that you have uh, 
a magnetism to at this time is your own divine feminine power that's sitting poised realizing your worth your royalty bitch people come and try to entertain you that's it you're not moving you don't need to move right um but power nonetheless right um this can also be someone who feels like your silence is manipulation but i don't think that that is it's not the case let me not say i don't think it's not that is not the case here your energy is different, not out of manipulation, but out of love for yourself. What the fuck? Like, they can't believe you love yourself. You love yourself? Palm trees, right? It's out of stability. It's out of the need for growth and expansion. It's out of the need for security. You want something that's going to have permanence. And I feel like your, your feelings about this connection has completely changed. They were not expecting that. <laughs> they don't like it and they were not expecting it okay now this doesn't have to just be love connections it could be friendships family members and all of that when you start to change people don't like it why because there's no benefit in it for them they get nothing out of you loving yourself they want you to want them and worry about them and chase them and lust after them and obsess over them and you know worry about what they need and what they want and what they're doing and all of that and now you love yourself <laughs> like what kind of tomfoolery is this you know it's throwing them for a loop and it's absurd that that is the case but that is exactly the case you're handling everyone different in your life you are a different person it says becoming something new um so some individuals may be like oh you think you better now you think you all that now it's like no you do you think i'm all that you actually want what I got and I'm not giving it to you anymore I'm not allowing you to suck me dry anymore I'm not entertaining your fuckery anymore and now I'm the one that's wrong <laughs> it's really absurd guys <laughs> see I told you oh my god what is this <sighs> ma'am sir brussis please have a seat come get this lesson okay come get this good word that I got because this is what we're talking about the chase will never happen it will never happen now what i will say and you can correct me if i'm wrong but i don't think i'm wrong i don't think i'm wrong in the past you did extend the olive branch okay because you were the one holding all the chips you were the one who presented the opportunities plural this person may have viewed that as a chase but it wasn't it wasn't you were still deciding if it was worth it, if, it's, if it was worth your while, if it was worth your time. You didn't want to take that L and lose how much you've invested. Like, that don't feel good. So let me just see if it's worth going another go around. They viewed that as you chasing them. <laughs> and this is the misconception. This is why they're confused. Mm -mm. Wow. Flexibility. So they want you to be flexible. You need to bend more. You know, relationships are not all calla lilies, rainbows, butterflies, and unicorns. you like, motherfucker, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? Who are you talking to? Who have you been talking to? Is this the way love feels? See? And this is what they're trying to convince you of. What you were doing before was love. This shit you're doing now? Loving yourself? That's not love. Oh, my God. Wow. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me stop laughing. You like, mm, I'm not even in your zip code. I'm not even in this galaxy, motherfucker. Hmm? Talking to yourself, are we? They can't figure out why they're talking to their self, themselves. Why am I talking to myself? Pisces is supposed to be right here. Pisces is always right here. <laughs> They've been waiting. They've been waiting. They've been waiting on your call. <laughs> They've been waiting. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. They've been waiting to hear from you, waiting for you to come and apologize for some shit you didn't do, waiting for you to ask where things are going, waiting for you to see if they're okay. Do they need something to eat? Are they stressed? Do they need, you know, some pum pum or some date? Like, do they need you? Like, 
Where is this going? Where do we go from here? Is it really over? That's what they were expecting, guys, okay? This is what they were expecting. It's not a lie. Man, you really tried to make this work. And this person mistook, okay? They were sadly mistaken by your care in the past for you being someone who would chase them <laughs> forever, you know? Like, that's what they were expecting. This is where all of the confusion is stemming from, okay? This confusion is driving them wild. They were most certainly sure that at the disconnect of this, whatever, whether, whether it was an argument between the two of you or however this disconnect or this separation happened, this last go round you guys had, they were expecting exactly what they got in the past. Oh boy. <laughs> and now you've changed, okay? You've wisened up. You no longer see the value in trying to make this work. Um, you seeing the value in trying to make this work in the past gave them the idea that you were a chaser. And that you would always chase them. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Their perception has certainly changed at this point. Okay? They are sick as fuck. They need some medicine. <laughs> oh, you like, they talking to the wrong one. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I, I, I don't give a fuck, bitch. I don't give a fuck. That's what I heard. <laughs> wow. They gonna be waiting forever. I don't get any signs that they are coming towards you. They're just losing it silently. They are silently suffering. I feel as though they won't be able to handle this for much longer. Uh, no, they won't. Is this the way love feels? They cannot believe that you are now focused more on yourself. It's really, it's throwing them, guys, for a doozy, for a loop. Okay? Nine of Swords. So they are truly suffering. It's not a lie, right? We only have cards coming out confirming what I hear intuitively. Spirit is really working overtime today. They're like, I got something to say. This is someone who feels wounded by this change of yours, by this new you. A lot of individuals feel this way in your life. Um, you were definitely the one who was the, was the additive to most of your relationships. I need you to take an analysis, this is what they said, of your relationships and analyze which relationships you were giving more in. I bet you it's all of them. Oh my God. Yeah, so you changed that now. Wow, you cut a lot of people off and people have to match your energy and you're definitely moving entirely differently than you were in the past. That nurturing energy, that giving just for the sake of giving, oh, that shit is all out the window. You're not that person anymore. You're putting your empathic energy to the side because I think that's the reason why you were behaving that way in relationships of the past because you're an empath. Um, you're definitely doing head over heart. <laughs> Sizing people up. Taking account, okay, of who's doing what and when. You found yourself depleted way too many times to continue on the path that you were going down. Do you understand? Yeah, your happiness is at the forefront, you guys. Seven of Cups in the reverse. You definitely dwindled down all options or people counting you as the option who will get them out of shit, who will bail them out, who will help them out, who will be there forever and ever, whenever. No matter what. <laughs> it's like, that is some draining ass shit. Your own satisfaction is at the forefront at this time, guys, okay? Ten of Cups. So I really do feel like you're getting ready to step into a divine cycle for sure, okay? Ten of Cups can be a new relationship coming in, but ultimately happiness, right? Um, you've done enough. You suffered enough. And Spirit is almost celebrating you, applauding you for making these necessary changes because now it's to the top, baby, penthouse, baby, and everybody can't come, which is also why you might find yourself subconsciously in the energy of cutting people off left and right. I mean, you carry your knives, <laughs> okay? Your hands have now become knives, okay? Them, them motherfuckers get chopped off left and right, left and right. You don't even got to think about it. Your intuition is doing all the thinking for you. 
And if you didn't notice that energy already, you now like, oh, I definitely am. Please tell me down in the comments if that's you. It seems very specific, um, but they wanted me to say that. You dealt with very self-absorbed people in your past. Love connections, family, friends, etc., etc. And now you're the one who is being more self-reflective. They're viewing that as self-absorbed, right? Like ugh, you're full of yourself now. Okay, you feel you're smelling yourself now, huh? Okay. You done did all of that spiritual shit and now you're smelling yourself? Now you better than us? Now you too good to let me hold twenty thousand dollars? Let me hold some money. You know what I'm saying? Now you're too good to be one of my options to sit on my shelf. Goddamn. Oh my gosh. This is a nightmare. This is a mess is what it is. So where do they believe you stand in all of this? What are their beliefs of where you stand? We're going over to the extended guys. This is a fucking mess. <laughs> I don't like it. I do not like this. Oh, yeah, not because oh, they feel like you're enamored with them. You love them. You can't get enough of them. You understand? The Knight of Cups is the ultimate outpouring of love. You really gave a lot in this connection, guys. I mean, it's written all in these cards. It's not a lie. Okay? So they were expecting you to come back with all your millions of cups and they don't have to pay no entry fee. You know what I'm saying? They can invite their homeboys over. You know, it's a it's an endless buffet. It's the endless shrimp at Red Lobster, goddamn. And it's free. It's for the free, for free, free, free. Oh my gosh. Yeah, a declaration of love. This is what they were expecting. This is what they're still expecting. Do you understand? I don't see any cards of movement. This is someone who is expecting the chase. A bounty hunter. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going over to the extended. I cannot, I can't do this. Extended, okay? Let's see what their hopes for the future of this connection is. The lesson for the both of you, I also want to know, I'm going to write this down, what karma this person may face. We deserve to know this because the audacity, the gall of it all. I mean, <laughs> what? This is unbelievable that they thought that this was who you were based on your actions. The love that you had given was very genuine, but they viewed it as <laughs> something. It was not, motherfucker. It was not that. OK, we're also going to see this person's purest feelings for you, the next steps that they will be taking, the intentions for those steps and the potential outcome, whether you decide to go towards this or not. Um, let's take a look and see why or what the divine is trying to communicate by placing this experience in your life right now or in this read. Why is it here right now? What are they trying to scream at you um, or scream to you rather? I also want to see what shadows may be stagnating you um, on this journey beyond this this cycle what is keeping this cycle relevant in your life because I do feel like ten of cups is where you're bound to go but you've been a little bit stagnant here so how do we get beyond this towards that ten of cups with the quickness with the quickness okay I also want to see what subconscious blockages may still be keeping you vulnerable to toxicity infiltrating your energy we'll also take a look and see what great things are bound to be coming your way in the near future only the good will get focused advice from spirit in reference to what your focus needs to be to help you reach your ultimate and truest fulfillment and happiness in all areas of your life instantaneously and also we will do an Ask the Universe read, but I'll have instructions for this over in the extended. So go ahead and click that like button for me. Click the subscribe button and I will see you over at the extended. We are going to cut up, you guys. OK, I'm going to dig into this person's ass. I will see you over there. It's going to be linked down in the description box. All right.